Hey guys, it's your girl T. So if you guys have not heard, Kenya Moore has been making statements to the press and basically she's stating that she may be leaving the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She's saying that she did not sign up for this and she's basically tired of the disrespect. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys her press release statement right now and I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. Okay, so you guys just read that statement, and also in the ABC interview, um, basically Kenya's saying that she felt like the fight at the reunion show took it too far. She's saying that we all argue, we all go back and forth, we've all threatened each other, but we've also known to not cross that line. And then she also made comments about, you know, Portia being the granddaughter of Hosea Williams, and Hosea Williams was a civil rights leader, and how Portia should know better. And, you know, my thing is this. While I don't agree with people resorting to violence, I feel like, you know, these are grown women. They should be able to handle themselves better. But with that being said, sometimes you do have to check folks. And Kenya loves to provoke people. And she likes to talk shit. She likes to throw rocks and then hide her hands. You know, what I find funny is that Kenya wants to bring up the fact that Portia is the granddaughter of a civil rights leader. And that's fine and dandy. But Kenya also needs to remember that she was also a role model to myself and many girls like me. Not only is she a beautiful, dark-skinned woman, she was also the second Black Miss America. You know, so I just find it funny that she's not worried about her legacy and how she's tainting her own legacy for all these girls out here. This is a woman who's damn near 50, who has instigated several fights and arguments on this show. She goes in on folks 24-7. She tries to fuck with other people's husbands. And then on top of that, she's always yelling that she has 99 problems with getting dick ain't one. How is that suitable for young girls who look up to you? Yes, the fight was wrong. Yes, they're grown. Yes, you as a grown woman, you shouldn't have to put your hands on nobody else. But let's not sit here and try and play victim. Let's not sit here and try and distance ourselves now that you have egg on your face. You know, she chooses to leave this show, I say good riddance. I think this show did more to taint her brand than to help her brand. You know, Kenya from day one has come in on this show with a nasty attitude, with a nasty disposition, getting, it, getting into it with everybody. And I understand you have to play it up for the cameras. And I understand that, you know, these shows are scripted. And, you know, you have to be real turned up and, and take it from 1 to 100. But when the shit hits the fan, you can't sit here and try and play victim. You know what I'm saying? While I don't agree necessarily with Portia putting her hands on Kenya, at the end of the day, Kenya's not a victim to me either. She basically antagonized that situation. She sat there putting props in her face and, you know, going off on her, calling out all types of whores and everything else. So a lot of the words that were coming out of Kenya's mouth were just as unbecoming as what was coming out of Portia's mouth. So to me, Kenya's no saint either. So I don't understand why she's trying to play crazy like she's so much better than Portia. I mean, this whole situation is just ratchet. I, I feel like if they decide to fire Portia, they should also get rid of Kenya as well. You know, I don't feel like Kenya's any more innocent than anybody else. To me, she's an instigator. She's the type of chick to get in your face and say, do something, do something, hit me, hit me, hit me. It should be like an inch from your face yelling at you, and then when you punch in her shit, the first thing she want to do is go and call the police and tell the police that you batter her. That's what Kenya comes off across to me as. She loves to instigate. She loves to push people's buttons and but like I said folks can only tolerate so much and like I always say for every action there's a reaction you can keep on fucking with people you can keep on getting in their face and talking shit some folks can be a bigger person to walk away other folks will drag your damn ass and that's what happened to Kenya and I don't feel bad for her at all so anyways go ahead and leave a comment what do you think about this whole situation do you feel like Kenya Moore should leave the show do you believe that she's even gonna leave the show do you think that once again she's just trying to talk shit to the media looking for publicity and for attention so let me know your thoughts on this entire situation all right Deuces.